Today I want to talk about is how to convert your DVD into a digital format so you can view it on a tablet, so you can view it in your phone, SD card, USB card, literally slot it into your smart TV and just watch the movie there and then, especially if we're not into streaming in our Netflix and we've got all of these kind of DVDs lurking in the background of your house and you want to get them on DVD, you want to get them on a digital format. Not only that, but also what if you've got all these, I've got so many of these, these old discs that you've done privately yourself with home movies on them that you might have converted from video onto like a disc. And now you want to get the disc onto a, an SD drive or your hard drive or put them in the cloud so that they, you've got those memories for years to come until you have to convert them into something else. Who knows? But anyway... That is what I'm going to talk about today. The software that I use is this one here, and it really is very, very easy to use, and it is very, very convenient, and it is not expensive at all. The beauty about using this one over ones that are free, for example, is that copyrighted material is never going to be a problem with this. These uh, just work straight away and uh, they don't come up with a little test screen sometimes. If you use Handbrake or something like that, it will come up with this is it, and it will actually say cannot use because they are copyrighted. Uh, other question I get asked is, I don't have a DVD drive and most PCs and Macs certainly don't have them nowadays and this is the ones that I use here. Very, very easy, very, very uh, easy to get, I should say, and easy to use. You plug them into your USB drive, really, really straightforward and very, very cheap. And you can get USB 3.0 ones now, and you can get either even get ones that write as well if you want to do that. Uh, but yeah, it's not hard to get. Now, the software. Once it's installed, this is what it looks like, and it's really, really easy. That's simplistic. Look how cool that is. Uh, it's That's the Mac version. Uh, the Windows version is very, very similar to it. You just click on the little disc here and it'll, if you've got a disc in, give it a couple of seconds just for it to read it. And then you just click on OK. And then what will happen is it will give you, uh, it, it will automatically uh, find the main title. Just click on Done there. It will automatically find the main title. And all you then have to do is click run if you just want it in uh, basic mp4 and uh, just uh, regular stereo sound but if you want to get some uh, if you want to change it up a little bit you can actually customize it a little bit here so you can keep the original uh, resolution or you could force it up to 1080p if some some good results been doing that myself um, you can keep the aspect ratio or you can change it if you wish and the channels for example it's on six channels Default is set to two, but you can change it to six. That means you get 5.1 surround sound. You can also change the bit rate. Um, on default, it's 128, I think, or even 96, but I like to put it up at the maximum of 256. And then once you've got all these things locked in, you can then click apply to all if you want that to be in, in, in every one. For example, if you want to force them all up to 1080p, you just click it like that and you would apply to all uh, apply to all and that's it and then you click on ok and then it's just a case of clicking run and that's it that's how simple and easy it is on my mac my m1 mini mac it uh, took about 25 26 minutes on a pc i've seen them take about 12 minutes it really depends on your hardware depends on your disk drive depends on all these sort of things so that's how long uh, it takes for me to do uh, once you click on stop it will then forced you to go or once it stops i just click i forced it to stop there it shows you where your uh where it's all stored and as you see i've got quite a few i'm going to show you results of the ones that i've done from these these are local discs if i can put it on screen there these are local discs and i'm going to show you some results that i've got not only from the the movie from stakeout that i've that i've burned there which is this movie here but also the results that i've got from home movies uh a wedding from 1968, my parents' wedding from 1968, and also a video that I was in from 1982 that was recorded from, it's this one here, 
Let's See Road Safety that was recorded in 1982. It was recorded on a Ferguson Video Star recorder in mono and then digitized onto disc and I've taken it from disc onto this. So it's gone quite a, quite a long journey. I'm going to show you the results of that. So let's see the results of uh, the stakeout now and then I'll show you the other wee home movies as well. Right there, murderous. You ever get those things? No. No. <laughs> well, I guess it must have been me. Our road safety lesson this morning is based on the Green Cross Code. Now, I know that you all know your Green Cross Code very well, but there's certain places in the Green Cross Code where we should not cross the road. You shouldn't cross the road between parked cars. Now, you're quite right, Stuart. We should not cross between parked cars. That lad knows what he's talking about. Handsome boy as well. Just shows you the quality that you can achieve using the software. Really, I'm blown away by it. I really do like it a lot. And I'm happy that I've now got those uh, digitized now for the rest of, you know, rest of eternity as far as I'm concerned. Get it up in the cloud, put it in my NAS drive, uh, and I've got it forever. Get it backed up and I'll never, ever lose them. It's really important, especially if you've got a lot of things that are recorded on VHS that you might have digitized uh, onto DVDs. Get them digitized now onto an SSD card or your hard drive or whatever format you want really is brilliant so i'll leave all the the links for this software in the description if you've got any questions please don't hesitate get them in in the comment section i'll do my best to answer them one thing i can say is blu-rays i don't deal with them a i don't have a drive b most of the movies that are on blu-ray are on uh you know they're on the streaming services anyway so you don't really need to plus the file sizes are huge so uh that's the reasons why i don't bother with blu-rays uh but this doesn't cover blu-rays anyway so thanks for watching as i say i'll put all the links in the description any questions put them in the comments stay safe see you in the next one bye bye